Hello. It is Saturday and I'm starting up another weekly reseller vlog. I'm going back to what I was doing before where I'm just going to put everything in one video. I'm going down the basement, by the way, with the laundry behind me. Um, rather than like breaking up the hauls and stuff. The haul videos have not been popular at all. Um, I know you know, most of you guys started following me because of vintage and the more unique things and I'm not getting that stuff right now. Just doing the liquidation hauls. So the views on those liquidation hauls are really, really bad. And yeah, um, that kind of ends up hurting the channel over if I just didn't put them up at all. So we're just gonna put everything in one video again. They'll go up on Sundays, just like we were doing before. So no real change. Um, I do have I think even after you see this, there will be some haul videos on Tuesdays and Thursdays, but I'm not filming any new ones. If anything comes in, I'll just show you in the vlog. Um, August has been horrible, but yesterday um, got an order in before I went to bed. Well, actually, one in that I did, and then some more came in overnight. Um, I'm trying to get everything listed. I've got a ton of stuff to list got a ton of stuff in my office, a ton of stuff in the living room. It's just, we need to get it up there. So my focus right now is just listing. I want to get back up to a thousand listings on eBay, active listings and keep it there. Obviously th with things selling, but then listing to keep it there. I don't have a number, you know, that I want to go over that. I honestly found that when I was at a thousand with the kind of stuff I'm selling, I actually did better than just having a huge store with stuff sitting like long tail versus quick flips in the same store. Um, I don't know. Since I'm doing more quick flips now, new tag clothing, cosmetics, I've got CDs, DVDs, I've got some cell phone stuff. So new items that are just quicker flips. Um, I don't need the big store like I did when I was just doing vintage and long tail stuff. So in that way, that's a good thing. You know, I don't have to have as much inventory on hand. So anyway, I did have some orders overnight. So I'll turn the camera on and show you what's sold. Okay, here are the sales from overnight. Um, this pair of earrings sold for $30, I think. They are Charles Winston there. I'm going to ship them in that little eBay bag. That'll be perfect. Or box bag. This Cinderella passport, you may have seen this if you watch my other channel. It came in a Disney subscription box. I just really didn't like it. It sold for $33. I hope I'm getting these prices right. Another thing that came in a Disney subscription box was this keychain. It sold for $11. And then this Duran Duran CD sold for $12.99. I think I've got the prices right on those. Anyway, um, all of these items do have free shipping on them. So they'll all go, those will go first class. This will go media. It's Sunday morning. Good morning from America. And there's a glare on the items that sold overnight on eBay. This is a paper tree ink thing. This is one of the few stragglers left from that big estate sale lot I got last summer. Um... I sent an offer for $9.99 and it sold free shipping. It'll go first class. And then this is an Iron Man 2 DVD. You can probably tell because it says Iron Man 2 Blu-ray. I just listed this last night. I have a few copies of this. Um, it sold straight away for $12.99 and kind of free shipping on that. This will go media. This is what I've done with the movies and CDs. I have these tubs. I just have them alphabetical. Um, and then these are the CDs. I mean, I don't have a huge amount, so I don't have to, you know, get too complicated with my labeling. I knew Iron Man and I did it alphabetically that Iron Man would be there. I have two more Iron Man 2s and an Iron Man 3. How exciting. And then here's the jewelry. Um, and again, this is more like I know. Like, I know that this is the newest stuff to come, the multiples. This is the older stuff that was already listed, the multiples. And then everything here is a single. And I know it looks like a mess, but there's not, I mean, there's not a huge amount. I can find what I need in there. And then once the Burt's Bees comes, I'll just kind of move this stuff around and probably put the Burt's Bees stuff there. Um, and then, of course, I do have sweaters that I need to list, and those will go there. And then the other, I'm still doing toys. And what I'm doing with the toys, <clears throat> mostly, although I can rearrange this a bit, is putting them on this table 
Um, obviously, I'm going to run out of room for that plan, so I'll need to make some more room or put them in tubs under the table. And then the other big thing are all the cell phone and computer stuff, accessories I got that I haven't even looked at yet. Um, and I'll have to find a bin for that. But again, this stuff, the vintage stuff, which I haven't been bringing anything new, I can definitely kind of push this stuff together to make more room on the shelves, as well as over here because I had just put um, shipping supplies and just miscellaneous. So if I just move stuff around, I will have plenty of room for everything else that needs to come down. It's Sunday night and I have three more eBay orders. I sold the other two Iron Man 2 Blu-rays for $12.99 each, free shipping, and this Outlander Season 3, $14.99, free shipping on that as well. Um, and these will go media mail unless when I uh, double check the postage if it's cheaper or about the same to do first class, then I'll do them first class so they'll get them there faster. It is Monday morning and I have three eBay orders to start the day. This set of flatware, Twin Star from Oneida, uh, sold for $39.99. This cards, ooh, Cards Against Humanity game sold for $31 something. <laughs> um, and then this Margaritaville top men's shirt sold for $29.99. All these items are shipping for free. Last night, I made a decision. I changed things again. Shocker, 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 I know, shocker. But we're heading into fourth quarter. I'm, I hate best offer. I hate the sales game, every week a different sale. I went through my listings and I put my best price on everything with free shipping, no best offer, no sale. Still gonna use promoted listings because that does work, but I'm gonna see how it goes. Um, people come on eBay looking for bargains so I'm trying to give them a good deal, still make money, get this stuff in and out. I think it's different, you know, if I was just still doing, you know, the vintage stuff, which I haven't brought any new vintage stuff in for a while. So this stuff has been sitting here. Um, so again, I've got my best price on it. The shipping is free. So there's that as well. Um, but all these new with tag clothes, you know, again, I don't want these sitting here forever. So I have put a best price on it. Buyers are going to get free shipping. I'm not accepting returns and there's no best offer and I'm not doing a sale right now. Um, if I did want to run a sale, honestly, I'd probably have to go in and increase my sale or increase the price of the items by 10% just so then I could then run a 10% off sale, which I know can work in some cases, but I'm going to see how this goes Um because I'm just, I'm tired of dealing with all the crap. I'm tired of every week having to figure out, should I do 5%, 10%, 15%? Should this item be less? Can I do free shipping here? Can I have it in, you know, charge the buyer over there? Am I going to have best offer? And then people come in with the offers and they lowball you and they won't negotiate. I know some people love best offer. It's the greatest thing. And that's great. I hate it. This is like, you know what? I'm running it like a retail store. This is what it is. Here's the price. <laughs> if you want it, get it. And then we're done with it. So. We'll see how that works, um, but the cleaning crew is coming today. Usually have two um, young women who come and clean, which has been a godsend. It's super helpful um, to not have to do the deep cleaning in the bathrooms and everything. So grateful for that. They come every other week. Papa's not feeling great. We've increased his medication and it just makes him so, 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 so tired. And um, we're not really seeing an a, help with the pain but he goes back to the doctor next week so we're trying to stick with this higher dose to see if he can tolerate it and if it makes a difference but thus far not too much but anyway that's what's going on today so far I will check in later um if anything sells let's hope it does it's Monday night it has been a Monday <laughs> ah but I just had another sale come through and it's this guy this Jingle Bell Rock alligator oh my oh i had to turn him off because youtube copyright is so sensitive so i didn't want to blame but um this guy sold for 30 dollars 29.99 i did have free shipping on him i will find a box for him not an envelope since he's got the sensitive squeeze part and some bells so um find a box for this little fella and get him on his way for christmas merry christmas it is Tuesday morning and I have one eBay order 
to start the day. And I think it's right here. It is this Kenzie, Kenzie top. This sold for $19.99 with free shipping. It'll go first class. So I'm a few days in now to my, <clears throat> excuse me, best price, free shipping, no best offer, no returns. Um, it's still slow, but you know, August has been that. But we are coming in out of, you know, holiday shopping and fourth quarter starts soon. So I don't know. I'm going to hopefully stick with this plan. I say that, but you know, tomorrow I could change my mind. But it is nice not to have to be like monitoring sales and the offers and all that stuff. It's like, look, here it is. Do you want it? Buy it. If not, sorry. This is, this is what I need to make from this stuff to make money. And there's no negotiation. That's It is what it is. It is now Tuesday afternoon. I have two more eBay orders. First is this Frank Homa coffee mug. Um, this was for the um, Republican National Committee Convention, I suppose. Um, 1970, there's a whole range every year, a different color. I don't know if they did ones. I'm sure they probably did for the Democrats in the shape of donkey. I don't know. But I only have the, I have a few elephant ones. Um, so yeah, this sold for $29.99, free shipping. It'll go priority in a little priority mailbox. And then this is a men's Zane robe, Zan robe tank top. Um, and this sold for $19.99, free shipping. And it will go via first class. It is Wednesday morning. Two eBay orders to start the day. <laughs> this super cute Hallmark plush. Um, he plays a little song. $14.99. I do have it at $14.99 with free shipping. Um, still light enough to go first class. And then this is a um, vintage Disney wind sock. This one's Mickey Mouse. And this one sold for $29.99. Again, I did have free shipping on it. What's going to trip me up is it's going to have to go in some sort of box, probably. Because I don't, unless we box around it and then put it in a bag. But we'll see. So anyway, um, I got some more listings up last night. I'm listing Burt's Bees Cosmetics right now. And I still have a pile of sweaters that I need to go through. And the pile of cell phone, computer accessories. But um, yeah, getting down there. I just really... Obviously, fourth quarter's coming. Everything needs to get listed. No more excuses. Get it listed now. If you can't get what you have listed, stop sourcing. That's my best tip. Can't get what you have listed? Stop bringing more crap in. So I thought I'd share how I'm packaging up the um, windsock. So I put two pieces of cardboard around it, and then I put it in a an eBay poly bag. These are the big ones. And then I am going to put another bag around it the other way. Just to make, because it is like right on the sides. It barely fit in there. So I'm going to double protect it that way. So I like to keep any kind of scrap cardboard on hand just to put between stuff. You never know what odd thing you might have. And this is a definitely an odd thing because I don't have a box that it would fit in. The priority mail boxes aren't wide enough. Um, so we'd have to, you know, make a box. But this works great because it's like a box but in a bag. And this way it will, I believe stay under yep yeah, it'll go first class still so it is now thursday and i have two ebay orders to start the day this is a women's swim or i'm like a surf top roxy and then and that's an extra small and then this is a ruby road shirt and it is in the size 1x um both of these sold for 19.99 and um, both of them do have free shipping. They will go via first class. It is Thursday evening and I just had this eBay order come through. It is a Cano make your own computer tablet. These sell, I think in retail, they were maybe like two or $300. They seem to be going online for about $125, $150 maybe. I think I initially put it at $124.99, best offer, buyer paid shipping, but I recently changed it I took off the best offer, I put free shipping on, and I lowered the price to $99.99, and that was just going to be, it's going to sit there price, and it sold. So, um, you know, I will, it's not terribly heavy. What does I have here? 
four pounds. So once it's boxed, it'll be over five pounds, five to six pounds. So, um, but yeah, being a little more competitive on the price on a higher dollar item, but again, getting the free shipping and um, not dealing with the best offer. It's just a nice way to hopefully, especially with the toys and things, to move them. Because I feel like if the toys don't move before Christmas, I'm going to be stuck with them or take them to the consignment store, of course. But um, yay, happy for this sale. And just as I was um, finishing up filming the last sale, this one came in, this mini pop star. Um, she sings and talks. I can't play her though because it's copyrighted. <laughs> um, but she sold for $24.99. Again, um, with free shipping. I think I can get her in a shoe box. Let's hope. It is Friday morning and two eBay sales start the day. I sent someone an offer for nine bucks on this wrapping paper. Um, and then this little Thomas the Train uh, train thing <laughs> sold for $19.99. Both of these free shipping. I'm trying to get rid of this wrapping paper. I've had it for ages. I've got all of it here. Ugh. So sometimes I send the offers and that works. So um, free shipping, first class on both. It is now Friday afternoon, and I just sold a DVD. Is it in here? Yes. And it is, I thought I had more of these, didn't I? Outlander, season three, um, and this sold for $14.99 with free shipping. It will go media mail unless first class is around the same or less. I, I don't think I've had you in the video this week. You don't? Do you want to say hello? Hello, everyone. What do you want to say to your fan club? What do you want to say to your fan club? Well, have a wonderful day. Well, I, you should say your dues are due. Where's your money? <laughs> Hi, Charlie. Oh, look, his tail just went up. Everyone wants to know how Charlie's doing without Lucy, and I think he's doing okay. He's doing great. Yeah, he, he had gotten used to her not really paying attention to him, yeah, didn't she, you? She didn't. No, she was at the end especially. And he likes he likes to be an only dog, I think. I think so. He likes other dogs, but he likes all the attention, that's for sure. Yeah, he's going to get it. You're going to get all the attention? Do you like attention? Do you get it all? All the attention for Charlie? <laughs> Where? Well, what's going on? It is Friday night, and I have one more eBay sale to close out the week. It's this... Um, Blu-ray of Inferno. This had some packaging wear, a little tear there. So I did um, price it a little lower at $9.99 and free shipping. Um, it'll go media mail unless first class is about the same or less. Sometimes that happens depending on where it's going. Um, so that wraps up this week of sales. This coming week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, every single day this coming week will be a liquidation haul video. I had filmed a bunch in advance. They're not doing well at all. You guys don't really like them, which I totally understand. Um, I know they're not for everybody. There just really isn't an interest there. So the ones I had recorded, I'm just going to dump them all out this week. Next Sunday, I will be back with another weekly, um, just everything in one big video. And also next Sunday, I'm going to be announcing something um, for this channel. So with that being said, um, liquidation hauls coming at you this week but then that will be it i will not do them anymore so i know they like i said people aren't liking them they're not watching them which is fine i get it i totally understand so after this week they will be over and it'll just be the one reselling video a week on sundays so with that um if you liked this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up if you're not already be sure to subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video thanks for watching bye